क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व वैस्कुलर बंडल्स इन मोनोकॉटलिडेंस आर कंसिडर्ड क्लोज बिकॉज नो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट मोनोकॉट स्टेम इन द मोनोकॉट स्टेम द इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ कॉन्जॉइंट वैस्कुलर बंडल्स दैट इज जायलम एंड फ्लोएम दे आर प्रेजेंट एट सेम रेडियाई सो इफ दिस इज वैस्कुलर बंडल दिस इज प्राइमरी फ्लोएम This is primary xylem. Conjoint condition is there. Now between the phloem and xylem in the monocot stem, the cambium is absent. That meristematic tissue is absent. Due to the absence of the meristematic tissue, the formation of secondary phloem and secondary xylem that is absent. It means the vascular bundles they will not grow. Yes, the growth is closed. The growth is closed. That's why we call them as closed vascular bundles. And why the growth is closed due to the absence of a meristem? What do you call that meristem as cambium? So the right option is option number three. So now let's move on to the question number thirteen here. Now coming to question number thirteen, read the following five statements and select the option with all correct statements. So let's see what's there in the first option. Mosses and lichens are the first organism to colonize a bare rock. Yes, this is right. On the rock surface, the first community which appears that is lichens, and the lichens then they are followed by mosses. Now option number B, Slaginella is a homosporous pteridophyte. This is wrong. It's an heterosporous pteridophyte. Coralloid roots in Cycus have VAM. This is again wrong. The coralloid roots of Cycus possess BGA. The BGA which is present, that is anabina. This is wrong option. Now coming to D. Main body in bryophytes is haploid, that is gametophyte, right? Whereas in pteridophyte, it is sporophytic. That's right. That's diploid. Now in the bryophytes, the main body is haploid, and in the pteridophytes, gymnosperm, angiosperm, it is diploid, that is sporophyte. So this is right. Now option number E. In gymnosperms. Male and female gametophytes are present within sporangia on sporophyll. So, in the case of gymnosperms, you know the structures which are formed, reproductive structure that is cones. Cones they are produced. If we talk about the male cone, male cone possess microsporophyll. In the microsporophyll, there is presence of microsporangia, and inside the microsporangia, there is formation of gametophyte, male gametophyte. Now, coming to female structure, female cone. Now, similarly, female cone, it is made up of megasporophyll, and the megasporophyll they bear integumented megasporangium. These integumented megasporangiums, they are known as ovule, and inside the ovule, there is presence of female gametophyte. So it means this option is also correct. So now we will look for the right answers here. That is A, D, and E. They are correct statements. So answer is option number four here. So now let's move on to the next question. <coughs> 